Good morning, everybody. Orange Jay here with another Zimless Zone Zero video. And today I want to talk to you about why I'm dropping Withering Waves to play Zimless Zone Zero instead. A huge part of that definitely comes down to me personally having a real job that I do on the side. Yo, real job. Not that content creating is not a real job. It is a very real job with a lot of very real stresses. But it also requires a time commitment. And if you have a nine to five like I do, if you have a family like I do, and a limited amount of time to play your gotcha games, play your regular games, and make content. You have to make some choices, and so I've chose Zinless Zone Zero over Withering Waves. I have my reasons that I'm going to present here, but I want to start off by saying I think Withering Waves was a phenomenal game. It's still out there. It still is a game. I'm saying was in terms of like my playing it. I enjoyed my time in the game, but one of the big things that I didn't like about it, that I love about Honkai Star Rail, that I love about War of the Vision, is I could do my dailies in Honkai Star Rail quickly with very little effort. Withering Waves required me to just do a little more than I wanted. And I know some people are going to laugh at that, but this point really drove home to me. I was watching, this is a Tech Tone video where he had a ton of content creators on here, right? Like Box, Doro, Gotcha Smack, uh, Imtash is a Shinya. There's Tech Tone. They were talking about why content creators are quitting at certain gotcha games. And Box up here had something to say. Listen to what Box said real quick. No, it just, it's, it's for me. I know it doesn't take that long, actually. Like, um, you log in and do it for five minutes, but yeah, it's just, it, it gives me trouble, like, logging onto the game and actually, like, booting it up and, and doing it. Uh, same thing with resin farming. Um, I feel like that's, it just takes too, uh, too much time, uh, okay. for my, for my taste. Yeah. I'm now, he says that. I completely agree. Like, I have that same feeling. And there's this part of me that when I have that feeling, I, like, felt bad about it. Right? I felt like, man, maybe, like, what's wrong with me? And then listen to how they respond. Listen to how they respond to what he said. I might be able to help you because I get all my resin dumped and all my dailies done in eight minutes. So I might, I might be able to help you. Oh, eight minutes, that's a long ass time, dude. See, see, that's what I'm saying. Like, like th the reaction from like Tech Tone was like, bro, you must be bad. And he's like, no, you just like don't understand. Like, and, and listen, oh, listen. Wow. Oh, bro. Bro. All right. Oh. Yeah, no, this is cooked. He's cooked. Oh, okay. Oh, All right. Fuck. That, uh, mm -hmm. that, okay, sure. If eight minutes is Hopefully too long. Hopefully that's not what he said to his girl, bro. See, and this is why, this is why I like didn't ever like mention this out loud because I knew it would seem crazy. But with Honkai Star Rail, it might take as long to do your dailies in Honkai Star Rail as it does in Withering Waves, but you just hit auto fight, your people do it, you move on and do something else. And if you're a busy person, which remember a lot of people who play gacha games, play them casually or play them while they are doing something else. And the, the ability to hit auto fight in games, set your phone down or go to another tab is massive. And Withering Waves just it, it just required a little bit too much for me to stay involved in that like day-to-day -day grind. That's a personal thing. Some people are gonna feel a lot different. And obviously in that video we watched, you know, Box was the only one who felt that way. He still plays the game by the way, but I believe he's like a full-time content creator. So he's got a, got a little bit more wiggle time than me. When it came to me, I knew I was going to keep playing Honkai Star Rail. War of the Visions is my main channel, like number one game. So I needed to cut everything else and focus in on, on Wuthering Waves if I was going to or Zinless Zone Zero. So I'm picking Zinless Zone Zero. Another huge reason why I'm picking it is this right here. If you look at this chart, like notice one, two, three, four, five of your top five grossing games last month. And this is, again, this doesn't even factor in PC purchases. And sensor tower data was like down for the second half of the month. So these numbers are actually all a lot higher than they are. Like four, like Honkai Star Rails 1, Genshin Impact's 2, Honkai Star Rails 3, Withering Waves is 4, Genshin Impact is 5. Hoyo knows what they are doing right now. They are kings of the gacha game market. And I just have faith that Zinless Zone Zero is going to be a great game. I also think it's going to be a little bit easier than Withering Waves. I think it will attract more of the casual audience. And I think that's a winning formula. Like, I again, I have n almost nothing but good things to say about Withering Waves. And if you are somebody who is playing that game and loving it, I think you are making a phenomenal choice. Like the characters in that game, I will say this, the character design in Withering Waves, 
I loved it. They're adults. It's like a little bit more dark, a little bit more hardcore looking characters. I really, really appreciated that about that game. Was in the Zone Zero, a drawback to that game is some of the characters look like they're 12, and I don't necessarily love all of that, but I, it, to me, the gameplay loop felt better. And when I played closed beta one and they've changed just a little bit since then, I enjoyed the TV mode. A lot of people were like just dishing on, dissing on the TV mode. I enjoyed that more than like the open world part of like a Genshin or a Withering Waves. And they've toned that down a lot and made it even more streamlined, even quicker, which I guess is a good thing. I wasn't able to get into closed beta two or three, but it seems like Koyo's really listening to the feedback from closed beta one, which is some of the feedback that I gave and have improved the game since then. So it's just a game that I've been very, like like when it comes down to it for me, I was getting annoyed with the daily with the daily loop of Withering Waves. Zen the Stone Zero is a game that I've been excited for for a long time. I trust Hoyoverse to make a banger of a game, and I'm just excited. I wanted to focus in and start a second channel. I think Zenless Zone Zero is the game I want to use for that, as opposed to Withering Waves. We'll see if the second channel pops off or not, like it just might not but I hope it does. Also, I want to bring back like next year. This is this is an announcement video, right? Obviously for my main channel, I'll probably post it on both channels. Um, I'm bringing back the let's bring back the old school, you know, tie invest here. I'm going to be teaching older kids again. Now, not back to high school yet, but I'm getting out of the elementary school going into seventh and eighth grade. I can dress up on the daily. I really enjoy putting on nice clothes. I think it just set you apart a little bit. And I think it's something that set my channel apart in the early days of this channel. So it's something I would like to do again. So here it is. I'm going to try to do this for all of my content for my main channel and for my Zinless Zone Zero channel. So guys, lastly, if you are watching this on my main channel, please go visit my other channel. This will be one of the only two videos that's out, but I'm going to be diving full in on Zinless Zone Zero when it launches and just posting all that content over there, keeping my main channel focused on War of the Visions and uh, Honkai Star Rail whenever I like dabble with that game. Cause it's definitely a side game for me, but man, oh man, like I said before, it's one of like the best gotcha games ever made. So there it is. Thank you guys for watching. Please, like I said, go subscribe to my second channel. If you wanna see that you know, Zinless Zone Zero content, it's at zero at the time of making this video. I don't think there's any subs on there yet. So head on over, head on over. And I'm gonna, my first video on there that's ZZZ specific is gonna be which five-star character I'm picking. Enjoy. Thank you all for watching. Have a good one. Peace.